Hi guys, Thomas and Friends 47 here, and today we're taking a look at the brand new Thomas and Friends Push Along Emily. On the packaging here, you'll see there's a lot of great details, including that picture of Emily, um, then going on the side here, and of course the back of the packaging. The back's kind of plain, but that's okay, we're used to that. See, that has plain barcode there, not Thomas barcode. And here's the other side, the top, and the bottom. Alright, so now that we took a look at the packaging, let's take a look at Emily out of the box. And here she is. You'll see that she has a lot of great detail. Not only does she have all of her yellow lining, the dome, the whistle, the giant wheel there, but she also has this great, great uh, handrail printing, the number 12 on the tender. Just so much detail here, it's crazy. Here's the front of the engine, you'll see the buffer print detail there, plus the red running board. Uh, our red running board print, and even her windows are hollowed out, so you can actually see through those. I think that's a great touch as well. Here's the other side, which is basically the same. And then here's the back of the engine. You'll see the back of the tender there with a little uh, rear, rear tail lamp. You'll see the buffer print there. Of course, here is the back of the engine itself. You'll see her printed buffers, and of course, again, the window porthole details and better detail there. Alright, and here is the top of the engine. You'll see that you have the dome and the whistle, of course the funnel there. You have nice colo detail uh, and the tender, very, very cool. And here is the bottom of the engine. You'll see her name there, Emily. Now one thing that really surprised me about this engine was the fact that this gigantic wheel is not molded. That's right, it actually rolls. It's freewheeling. And I did not expect that at all. Um, I thought when I saw this, I was like, that is going to be a molded wheel, that is, there is no way that that's going to be moving. But I'm very happy to report that it does move. And you'll see that it has some, some nice printed detail there too, with the gray wheel, of course that green printing over it. So all in all, what are my thoughts on Emily? Well, I'm going to be honest with you, I think she's a great model. And not only for AEG, but like, I wish her details and proportions were a little bit smaller, because I would love to use this, which is the standard push along engines it's that good there's so much detail here it's not too long it doesn't look squished i mean it's just amazing i love it and i really wish that mattel would have put this much attention and detail into the previous range i think if they had sales would have been so so much better but anyway for this model you know it, it, it it's like all engines go, or all all engines go items. It's going to depend on who you're buying it for, whether or not this would be the right purchase for them. And I'm going to be honest with you, if you are a railway series slash classic series slash CGI series purist, and you hate AEG, this is not going to be the model for you. However, if you are an all engines go fan, or you simply want to collect every push along engine, or if you are buying this for a younger engineer, then I would say go for it. The amount of detail that's here, the amount of care that is in this engine that you can feel, is enormous. It's it's amazing. The face detail, I mean, looks almost exactly like what we see in All Engines Go. It's a great model of Emily, and probably one of the best that we've ever seen in terms of uh, accuracy to the show currently. So I think that's great. But anyway, that's my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye for now. Oh,